In this lesson video, we're going to learn about the theory of a non-inverting amplifier. It's a little bit more complicated than the inverting one, so I suggest you cover that first. Starting with the circuit, here's the op amp with its power supply, plus Vs and minus Vs. I'm swapping the terminals for the op amp over compared to what I've done before. Don't worry, that's a totally legal move and something to watch out for when looking at these circuits. Feedback always goes to the inverting input, so I'll add that, again with the resistor in place so that we only feed back some of the output. It's a non-inverting amplifier, so I'm going to connect V in straight to V+, plus the non-inverting input. No resistor this time. Instead, I'm going to add a connection here to earth, going through a resistor RG. That's the circuit. You can tell it's a non-inverting amplifier because the input, V in, is connected to the non-inverting input. Let's look at developing an expression for the gain again. I'm going to remove the op-amp because it draws no current, so Kirchhoff is okay with this. Straighten out the circuits. Okay, so this time the simple one tells us that V in equals V plus. That's going to be useful later on. The other circuit goes from Earth at zero volts with a PD across RG, then a PD across RF leading to V out. OK, so that's not very clear yet, but if we say that V in is positive, and remember that V in equals V plus, and that V plus always equals V minus in an op amp, now we've got enough information. So we start at zero over here where Earth is. This point is equal to V minus, so it's equal to V in, which I said is positive. So there's a voltage rise across RG. There must also be a voltage rise across RF, so we end up with a positive potential at V out. More positive than V in was, in fact. If we change it around, if we make V in negative, so this point is negative here now, then we have a voltage drop across RG and another voltage drop across RF, so V out is negative. It's a non-inverting amplifier because the output has the same sign as the input. OK, so let's get to the equation. Again, see if you can derive an equation using a similar method to before. Hit pause. All right, you should have paused, this isn't enough time. Anyway, the current in RG must equal the current in RF, and V in equals V plus equals V minus, so V in minus zero over RG equals V out minus V in over RF. Rearranging, we get V out equals V in times RF over RG plus V in. Or V out equals 1 plus RF over RG times V in. This means that the gain is 1 plus RF over RG. So now you know how to draw a non-inverting amplifier circuit. You also know how to derive an expression for the gain of the circuit. I'm going to leave you with this drawing. It's a special case of a non-inverting amplifier. What I want you to think about is what it does. Try to think about the maths behind it and understand what the whole purpose is of a circuit like this. When you're done, I'll explain it in another video.